just our carrot and vanilla pure, uh, puree that we make. And then we puree that with carrots which have been cooked in butter in its own juices. So it's very sweet, very lively. Uh, works well with the duck dish that we've got on at the moment. Um, we've also got some cherry puree. So these are cherries that have been reduced down in its own juices. Uh, cook it down until it's like a nice thick consistency. That works really well with the, the duck as well. It just kind of gives a little bit of sweetness from the gaminess as well. Um, and then we also serve it with some fresh cherries that we've got here. So we just cut that to order, just a little bit of garnish, just to give that a little bit of vibrancy to the dish that it comes with. Uh, hi guys, so it's uh, Sean here from the La Boucherie restaurant. So I'm the head chef of this uh, French steakhouse restaurant in Bok Mills. I've uh, been in the industry for just over 10 years now. I uh, started off as a wee young lad, but now I've kind of grown into being able to run a kitchen, have a good team, um, being in a small niche kind of market of French food, it's, it's pretty interesting to do. Um, I got into the hospitality industry just through watching my mom, my grandmother cook, uh, you know, just cooking basic like rice and curry and rice and lentils and rice and dal. It just, it got me passionate about food and just seeing what food does for people. Like, you know, you cook and you create something and you give it to them and then you see them smile. So that was very, you know, rewarding for me as a kid seeing that and it just drove me to pursue it and see, bring what my parents did for, for me, for me to do for other people. So that was what was kind of my, one of the hardest, like what drove me to kind of get into the industry. Um, but yeah, I couldn't think of doing anything else. I love what I do. So this is our duck which has been uh, dry aged for like a week and now it's been taken off the breast so we dry aged it on the crown just to retain that the flavour and then we take it off after a week, season it up and we sous vide it. So it's pretty much cooking in a water bath at a set, water, at a set temperature for a period of time um, and that just ensures they get like beautiful kind of like, it's still going to be like pink in the middle, just, it's a really nice flavour and it like, it's, the meat will be nice and tender, not too chewy with duck and it kind of gets rid of that gamey flavor that you get with it too. So that with the carrot and the cherry, it like pairs up so well. So yeah, we'll get, give that a go. Five minutes, let that kind of come up to room to, uh, come up to temperature a bit. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, so the whole seed kind of thing, uh, open it up and just scrape it all out and just put it into our puree towards the end when we're blending it through. That's a really nice, it's a really floral, really like, really tasty kind of product out of Reunion Island. So it's, it's nice, it's very expensive, but just a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, it gives that carrot puree, the duck dish, a little bit of depth and a little bit of flavor. It's nice. so. Garlic, thyme, rosemary, just roast that off. And then we make a stock out of that. So put that into a pot, fill it up with water. And then you kind of cook it for like about four, five hours to get extract all the flavor from the bones, from the roasted bones. And then what we do, we strain it off, let that sit. And then the next day we come in, any fat that's on top, we just scrape it off and we reduce that down to like a nice sauce kind of consistency. So we like get yeah, dry aged. So we just hang them off on the bone, on the carcass still. So you just tenderize it. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, moisture loss but what happens, you're, you're tenderizing the meat and you're getting, a, like, extracting more flavor out of it, essentially, so, yeah. So this is what we do for one week. We just let them sit there and let them chill out and then come back a week later, we take it off the bone. simple food but just done well and that was my aesthetic my, that's what I wanted that's what like what I wanted to go towards so um, and I would be lucky to be able to do that we get great produce we've got great supplies um, 
and we just treat the food with so much respect. We keep it simple, don't do too much, um, and that's pretty much it. Like so, we've been going on now through close to three years now, and we're still growing. We're getting bigger and better. Uh, we're kind of rated one of the best restaurants in the hills. French is like restaurants in the hills. Good steaks, quality steaks, uh, seafood as well. So it's a very niche restaurant, and it's just going above and beyond. So. From the, from the skin alone, like we've got a little bit of oil like seeping out from the skin. This is rendering out from the skin, so it's naturally so fatty. So we try to avoid adding, you don't really have to cook in oil with duck because it's such a fatty piece of meat. Um, you left that beautiful, you let it cook in its own fat, which is, gives it such an amazing flavour. Beautiful duck, which has got that crispy skin. Our carrots, which have been cooked in the same fat, which has been nice and kind of crispy, and our caramelized onions are also served with that. We get the duck. Just cut it on the angle. That's still nice and like kind of pink and juicy in the middle. Here's our duck dish of cherries, carrot and vanilla puree, roasted onions, carrots and fresh cherries. It's Sean from uh, the head chef of the Bushri restaurant and you're watching Where's the Food At?